We've made a lightweight concrete using four parts perlite to one part Portland cement, but let's try to add some admixtures to this mix and see if we can make one that performs better and is a stronger finished product. Okay, so four parts perlite to one part cement. It's not gonna be super strong. It is gonna be pretty lightweight. What can we do? I've got a couple ideas. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about here is adding fibers or fiberglass to the mix. Take a look at these. It's not much to look at right now. In fact, it's a tiny little amount just in the bottom of this little plastic cup. But that's because we have to take these and we have to fluff them up. And once I fluff these up, it's actually going to be a lot bigger than what you see there. And that's the point at which we add it to our mix. Here we see an example of fibers that have been fluffed up. You spread them apart by hand as you put them into the mix, but it's really the drill attachment or the paddle attachment that fluffs up, fluffs up the fibers. So this is what you want to see when you have a handful of fluffed up fibers to add to a concrete mix. The amount that you need is so little. When you buy an entire concrete truck full of concrete, you might only have a couple of pounds of these fibers in the entire truck. So when we're talking about a very small ornamental piece of concrete that we're making, we don't vi need very much fibers in order to get the strength benefits that we're looking for. So what do these fibers do? Well, they basically work in the same way that steel works in concrete. Concrete has a very high compressive strength, meaning you can't really crush it, but if you put it under tension, it breaks pretty easily. And so we add something with a very high tensile strength or steel. Now, in this case, we're going to use fibers in place of steel. You add them to the mix and they get dispersed randomly throughout and it kind of creates like an interlocking network or matrix of these fibers such that if the concrete were to break, they will all become under tension at once and it will prevent the two pieces from breaking entirely, much the same way that steel works in concrete. So if I'm making a perlite mix and I want it to be stronger, probably one of the things that you should do is add some fiberglass to the mix. The next thing that I'm going to look at adding to this perlite concrete mix is some weld bond. And weld bond is a proprietary name. There's a lot of different names this product could be sold under. Ultimately, it's PVA or polyvinyl acetate or white glue, as you might know it as. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this product to the water that we're going to use to make this concrete mix. Much like you would expect when you add glue to a concrete mix, perlite or any other kind of concrete mix, it does essentially what you think glue would do in the mix and it, is, it glues everything together. So it does help to make for a stronger finished product. The amount of PVA that you're going to use in a mix, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of dealer's choice here. And conventionally speaking, I've always known replace the 10% of the water that you're going to use in the mix with a PVA product. However, with a lightweight concrete where it's going to be, the aggregate is going to be very absorbent of this liquid, I want to use a higher concentration than 10% that I would use in a normal concrete or full strength mortar mix. So I'm going to aim for about 25% of my liquid content to be a liquid PVA product. So in this case, I've got this pitcher of water here that has about one and a half liters of water in it. I'm going to add some PVA until it's about two liters, swirl it in together so it's all nice and mixed up, and then I'm going to use that to make my four to one perlite concrete mix. That should just about do it there. You definitely need to stir it to make sure it's mixed in properly with the water. You can just add it directly to a mortar mix. I've done that before, kind of just pour it right in as I'm mixing it. Uh, and it, it should work, but this is better for distribution to make sure you get even distribution of the pot product throughout the mix. Doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to get it started mixing together. 
So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to make a batch of lightweight concrete here using four parts perlite, one part Portland cement, about 25% PVA by liquid volume, as well as some fiberglass in the mix. I'm going to go ahead and add about half of the water to get started. All right, that's what we ended up with there. You can see the fibers kind of just randomly throughout. I don't know how well you can see them, but I can see it as I'm working with it here. And now we just have to let it cure. And we have our high strength, lightweight concrete made using four parts perlite and one part Portland cement. We also added about 25% PVA, or in this case, the Weld Bond product. And that was 25% of the amount of water that we used, we replaced with this liquid glue product. And then we also added fiberglass, stranded fiberglass to the mix. I have really high hopes for this mix. When we test it, I'm expecting this one to perform very well in the strength category. 
Okay, we're back here about a week, week and a half later, and it's not fully cured yet. It's not ready to be strength tested yet, but let's go ahead and demold this. This was the four to one perlite mix that we used fibers in as well as a high concentration of PVA. About 20, 25% of the water we replaced with PVA or a white glue product, and it should give us a substantially stronger lightweight concrete as compared to a four to one perlite mix that doesn't have any of these admixtures or strength enhancers. Uh, so again, it's not fully cured, not full strength yet, but I want to make some more prototypes that we can test and break later to determine the strength and weight of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and demold this one now. I can really smell the PVA. It's got a really strong white glue smell. Definitely, definitely lightweight, like lighter weight. I can see the fibers in it as well, but I can also see that it's holding some hydration. It still has some time to cure here before it reaches full strength. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into storage for a little while and let it set up fully to full strength before we ultimately break it in the strength test.